Hello Divas, Diamonds, and Dolls. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Femininity with Mama Gail. Today, Mama Gail want to talk about the same way that women get strung out during sex, so does a man. A man has a thing called penis pride. It may be something I just made up in my head, but penis pride is one. You're either going to compliment and enjoy the penis or you are going to say something to hurt his pride because of his penis. Now, this topic may get a lot of hate comments and a lot of disagreement, uh, but I don't care. We're going to have the topic, the conversation anyway. Sometimes you'll get a gentleman who will run from relationship with you because they know that what you have is good and they are not sure of themselves and what they bring to the table. So they're constantly asking you questions. Is it good? How did it feel? Things of that nature. Because penis pride will hurt his feelings if you say something in reference to his performance and it doesn't matter how big how long how strong the penis is he feels some type of way he has penis pride and a woman who is not necessarily enjoying the sexual intercourse with the gentleman and he knows it, his pride is hurt. His pride is hurt because he seeks to pleasure you with what it is that he has. And it could be a man with a tiny penis, or it could be a man with a great big penis and just does not know how to work what he has. So because he does not know how to perform, the way that he should, he has penis pride. And he's afraid that something will be said in reference to his performance. So he will run, he will ghost, he will bet breadcrumb, he will ask all kinds of reassuring questions, or especially when you are engaged with him and he's not sure of himself what do you mean mama girl sometimes you can be intimate with a gentleman who's really good at what it is that he does but because he has a messed up head and messed up thoughts about himself and he has no real self-esteem and no self-love and no self-worth He's constantly on a run. I'm not getting into a relationship. I'm not going to get into a relationship because women always hurt me. People always, you know, do this. He has no self-worth. So he thinks that that's all around the board, including in the sex. So he'll run from being anything than a hookup with you penis pride his proud his pride is attached to how he see his worth and then you have gentlemen who somebody hurt them they're damaged like really even reflecting on the, the gentleman I just talked about but he knows that he's good with what it is that he has large, medium, or small. He knows that this is the area where he excels. So instead of him committing and wanting to be in a relationship, he'll use his penis as a weapon because he has penis pride where he will get you caught up and wrapped up and strung out and do all kinds of tricks and treats and things of that nature. And because of penis pride, I'm good at this. But you ain't got to have it always because he's damaged. Somebody broke him, hurt him. The way that you can always get a man when he's talking about the twat or the wop or 
whatever you ladies, I don't, I'm not even sure what WAP means. Somebody leave me a comment and tell me what WAP means. But you have these gentlemen talking about women and degrading women and things of that nature. And if you're a thought running around, sleeping around, just hooking up and doing this and doing that you deserve the labels that you get but there are some people who do just some women who get the backlash of things that they definitely do not deserve from gentlemen when the gentleman all along is just caught up in some type of penis pride you can always hurt his feelings you can always say to him true or false the lack of experience the lack of orgasm you know we played around and i ain't even come this that and the other there are things that you could say to eat that brother up in his penis pride because he is so caught up and fascinated in the pride of his penis so he wants to pleasure you. He wants to do the things that pleasure you. But when he does not have the skills to do so, penis pride kicks in. When he has the skills to do so, but the rest of his emotions are caught up, penis pride kicks in. A man always feel inadequate, especially when he's dealing with somebody that he feels is just so beautiful and he wants to measure up. And be able to give her everything that she wants and desires. You can have someone who's been married for years. And the wife says something to him to insult his penis. And he'll never forgive her. Penis pride. I actually have to look that up. Did that just come out of nowhere? Did I read that somewhere? Did I hear about it somewhere? But it's the strong in my spirit. that I needed to let you young ladies know. That it's not always about. The gentleman just ghosting and running he could feel intimidated and threatened by his lack of performance or by your profession of what he feels that you have skills or that you are able to reach a part of his emotions his heart his feelings that he's not ready to release he's not ready to share with anyone he wants to be selfish but because you are able to compete with him and bring the level of intimacy and excellence and the touch that he does not want but that he needs he's, he, he'll run he'll back up he'll pull away he'll ghost he'll breadcrumb penis pride now I'm not saying it's the only reason but this is one of the reasons that nobody talks about Men have pride, and their pride is in their penis. So I'm not saying for you to be spiteful and say things to him, but this video is to make you aware that when you insult his penis, it's a wrap for you. When you insult his penis, brother man is in his feelings for days, and I'm not laughing at the brothers. I'm laughing because... Yeah, Mama Gail has said something one time, and I remember the look and the hurt and the whole nine. But you cannot think of yourself more highly than your performance. Now, if you laying it down, putting it down, doing your thing, and you really handling your business, you got bragging rights, then brag, brother. But if you don't, please, remember you have penis pride. Relax. And do you. Nobody can make you commit. Nobody can make you be something you are not. Want something you don't want. But just don't overstep your boundaries when you're holding on to penis pride. This is Femininity with Mama Gail. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a blessed and prosperous day. Divas, diamonds, and dolls. And even you dons out there. Have a blessed one.